you doing? How you doing? Anyways, it's really nice to meet all of you after a really long time. First things first, I really want to thank all of you who's been a great support to me and my channel. It's literally been my second video, but your responses are overwhelming. Thanks a ton. Love you. So, today's video is about a tech support that's very crucial during the COVID-19 situation. Before that, I'm sure you might have heard this a tiring number of times. But yeah, wash your hands, use an alcohol-based sanitizer and wear your masks wherever you go outside. So, let's get started. Freeze! FBI! Just kidding. This little device in my hand is a non-contact infrared thermometer. It's been in the market for quite a long time now, but its usage and prominence have been the most recorded in history during this COVID-19 pandemic. Almost every industry, every organization, and even homes have this as a part of their medical kit. From where I come, it's been used every day to log the temperatures of the staff and the personnel working in the industries. My temperature reads normal. I'm safe. So, I was very curious what's actually on the inside. We've been using this for a long time, but what is it made of? Let's open it to one of these. But before that, I would like to thank my kind sponsor for letting me break into one of these and look into the skeletons. any complicated components and it's organized in a way that makes it look very simple. I've drawn a schematics here which exactly shows you what's in here. There's these two wires being connected to a battery. Two AAA batteries 1.5 volt each power the IR thermometer which means a 3 volt power supply. And when I turn it around here's a buzzer. This buzzer beeps when the machine is turned on and whenever you take a measurement. And there's this little push button switch here. When I trigger the gun here, it presses against this and the switch activates the PCB and the measurement is taken. This is the main PCB and it looks pretty neat. This in here is the push buttons which are on the body that let you change the modes and go forward and backward in the memory lock. And this is the main heart of what the IR thermometer works. This has a lens inside. I'm sure you're able to see this. Can you see this? The lens focuses the IR, th IR radiation, I'm sorry, IR radiation into the Thermistor. There's a thermistor inside this module. Having explained about its components, let's see how it works. So, I told you this IR module is the heart of the instrument and this works on a principle called black body radiation. Black body radiation is where any object above 0 Kelvin will emit radiation in any form. It might be thermal or visible radiation, but any body above 0 Kelvin will definitely emit radiation. So, before starting the video, I checked my temperature and it was 36.4 degrees Celsius. Converting it to Kelvin, it would give me around 309.5 Kelvin. So, obviously I am emitting radiation. And the thermal radiation is being absorbed by the IR from this module. 
and the IR radiation only acts as a carrier taking my thermal radiation and focusing it into the thermistor inside this. The thermistor works on a principle where the change in heat produces a change in the resistance. This change in resistance is conveyed to the PCB board here which calibrates it into the appropriate temperature measurement. So that's pretty much how this works. So that's it. I know this year hasn't been the best but please hold on. We're in this fight together. But for now, defense is the only attack. So stay safe, stay strong. Also, keep supporting me and my videos. I'll meet you next time with yet another interesting content. Until then, 